predator drone. Remotely controlled and heavily armed, it's the weapon of choice in the CIA's undeclared war in Pakistan. That's where the U.S. is believed to have launched more than 300 strikes since 2004. The target, suspected Taliban and al-Qaeda militants. The White House says better drones than boots on the ground and justifies the covert program as both effective and legal. America does not take strikes to punish individuals. We act against terrorists who pose a continuing and imminent threat to the American people. Not so, according to Amnesty International. In a damning new report, the human rights group warns U.S. drone strikes could amount to war crimes. It documents recent killings in Pakistan's northwest tribal areas and the lack of transparency surrounding drones. This is a secret program. In fact, in our case, we've found, at least in some cases, they've clearly killed civilians. And some of these cases might be war crimes. That really concerns us. One such case is that of 68-year-old Manama Bibi, killed by a U.S. drone last October. She was picking vegetables with her grandchildren when the attacks took place, a double strike. The children miraculously survived. First it whistled, then I heard a doom. The first hit us and the second hit my cousin. But her grandmother's body was pulverized. These missile fragments are all that remain. Amnesty documents other such cases, but its main point, the need for transparency and accountability. The U.S. must explain why these people have been killed, people who are clearly civilians. Uh, it must provide justice to these people, compensation. It must investigate those responsible for those killings. The U.S. continues to give very little public information about the drone program, but it will face more international pressure later this week. That is because on Friday, the U.N. General Assembly will be debating the use of remotely piloted aircraft. Now, in a separate report, a U.N. investigation looked at 33 drone strikes around the world, not just in Pakistan, that violated international humanitarian law and also resulted in hundreds of civilian casualties. That report also calling for more transparency and accountability from the United States. Reporting from Moscow, I'm Lucy Kafanov.